And I have my co-host here with me, Adirile Ijelu. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Nigeria. Congratulations. <laughs> we qualify for the semi-final. Uh, it was um, a very brave one. Like, it was just at the dying minute goal. Just at the dying I think luck is on our side, seriously. Yes, because it's always, I thought, ah, Nigeria, are we going to go to, what was the extra time? Or oh, these people are just going to chocolate with another goal. But <laughs> no, that, okay, that corner kick is going to lead to another goal. Well, congratulations. Uh, congratulations to them. All right, so starting the headlines this morning is the Punch newspaper. Nigeria versus South Africa, Super Eagles qualify for AFCON semi-finals. Varsity degree should be qualification for president, says Adel Bohura. Abiodun Akinlade's loyalist clash at Obu Governor Tribunal. PDP group, Al Aleibe, clash over large government aspirants. And on the Vanguard newspaper, still celebrating qualification of uh, Super Eagles. AFCON, PDP congratulates Super Eagles 2-1 victory over South Africa. Elizaka Zazaki, when shy storm National Assembly, injured policemen. Senator Liasin with reps over Edo Assembly crisis. Ruga is an abomination, should be withdrawn, not suspended, says Clark. And for the Nation News Airline, Edo lawmakers elect denounced inauguration. Belo, those accusing me of failure don't visit Kogi. Payami pays 100 million naira gratuity to additional 45 pensioner. Bandits ambush, ambush policemen in Castina. And that, then that's all we have for you for the headline this morning. Please don't forget to pick up any of these fast to read more stories on them. We'll be back shortly for the What's Up Lagos segment. Please don't go anywhere. <music> up Lagos segment where I'll tell you everything about entertainment event art culture going on here in Lagos. So they'll be talking about celebrities here in Lagos and then one of the celebrities we're looking at is Stella Damascus. Stella Damascus said there's a difference between being a feminist and being a bitter woman and then there's, she said there's a blur line between it that people should not confuse it and people should not allow an angry woman to come and Talk about feminism. To talk about feminism because she's angry. So they should actually know that when someone is angry, they don't know when someone is being a feminist. Oh, the, 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 the concerning this issue of feminism, I think everybody has their own perspective on it, and yes. she has raised the opinion concerning this perspective because some people will believe, okay, what a man can do, a woman can do that better. Why is someone exactly. going to sit on the perspective, okay, because they are bitter because of what men have done to them previously. But regardless of what the situation, I think I'm going to go with what Stella Abdamakot has said concerning this feminist mm -hmm. issue of a thing. Yes, so you need, to, you need to put it in two, in, a two, in two different ways. If you are angry, it's different. If you are a feminist, but now people are just trying to mix the majesty together exactly. and make it one word, which is not meant to be so. But also moving forward, and Zlanta, he decided to feature Mama Jam Jam to Savage on New Seagull coming up. So he decided to upload this thing on social media, Instagram precisely, to tell us to tell us that we should keep our finger crossed for this single. Wow, I think Mama Jam Jam is trying to go to the street this time and more, <laughs> more to the street to Savage. <laughs> Uh, so there's a new movie eating up the cinema tomorrow, Rant Queens. It's going to feature Gide for Sokotana, Adilana, DKD features in the movie also. Then the movie was directed by Lancelot Imaswa and produced by Moe Olutayo. Speaking of the movie, Moe said that she has expressed how honored she feels to have produced the movie, saying it is a great opportunity to have produced this movie. The social media has the power to make or marry you, and we saw that this is a global issue that needs to be addressed. How you use social media, especially in the entertainment industry, matters. So we decided to make this a movie, and then I, I can actually wait to see this movie to see because it's a toss between the mother and the daughter fighting mm -hmm. for influence on social media. So it's, it's going to be a very serious issue. But then I'm sure they are going to look into the issue of the reason why you should be on social media and the reason why you should limit yourself on, on social media. media. You know, social media has limitations. So, but most of us don't like has limitations. People just feel anything that happens in general, you're going to put it on social media. You buy a car on social media. You exactly. buy a house on social media. I'm sure we have a lot of rich people that decided that, okay, what they have, yes. no, they don't have anything like that on social media. Exactly. But most of them, just whether celebrities or not, you are going to say, okay, because I have a car, social media, let them know, I have a house, let them know, social, which is not meant to be so. Exactly. And we have so many issues of people putting their lives on social media and they still get 
bitter for it because of recent um, blessing Sunday she put on, on her social media pages that, that, yes, that she got a car then boom one of the dealers said no <laughs> this car does not belong to and you and then she started to change the story saying no I thought it's actually my car knowing that okay and I wanted to get the car it's not the car it was another car so, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, so you, you, you like guilty conscience who did the explanation <laughs> Like, just save yourself the trouble of not putting it on social media. Everybody will be happy for you. When they see you stand and snap with it, they will know it is your car. You don't have to start saying, thank God for your life. Come on. Imagine. <laughs> God. We will not kill ourselves because of social media in the interior. Yeah, like, they're trying to put, present a life that most people don't even live on social media. Not all. Sincerely speaking. All right, that's all we have for you for the What's Up Lagos segment today. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> This is political. I'm not going to tell you what is happening in Nigeria political scene. Lega moves by the All Progressive Congress APC to sack Governor Darius Ishaku of Taraba State. Field yesterday at the state governorship election petition tribunal, which dismissed the petition against the victory at the March 9 election in the state. The dismissed petition was filed by the APC governorship candidate in the state, Mr. Abubakar Danladi. The tribunal was relocated to Abuja from Taraba State following concern over security of its members and petitioners. Delivering judgment, the tribunal relied on the July 5 decision of the Supreme Court, which upheld the uh, uh, Court of Appeal judgment that disqualified Daladi on the grounds of false declaration of age. Also, moving forward, PDP raises panel to prove National Assembly members. The National Working Committee (NWC) of the People's National, sorry, People's Democratic Party (PDP) has constituted a committee to find out why the party's members in the National Assembly floated its directive on election of principal officers in both chambers of the House. The panel, headed by former Senate President Mr. Adolf Wabara, is also saddled with the task of finding out whether the ruling All Progressive Congress APC influenced the decision taken by the PDP lawmakers. And that's over for your political update. Let's see what the weather is saying. Don't go anywhere. for this morning 28 degrees high 24 degrees low and 25 degrees centigrade at the normal rate probability of rain is 50 percent while humidity stand at 94 percent partly sunny is what the weather will be looking like this morning which i can see that has been has happened actually on, and it's still happening so the weather is still cool and calm and then we just have to enjoy that it comes even there was a little drizzle this morning but then it didn't have much effect on on the weather exactly this is legal anything can happen before the end of the day so just enjoy it as it comes Okay, so now, um, Derile, as the as Nigeria has qualified for the semi final, what are your thoughts on it? Do you think My that we I just okay, just looking at, just looking at how this um, tournament has played out so far. We d defeated the, the defending champion Cameroon from the knockout stage. After the knockout stage, now Bafana, Bafana. Looking at Bafana, people might say, okay, Bafana, they have good players and and they are going to defeat Nigeria, but reverse is the case. And Bafana defeated the, uh, the host country Egypt during the knockout stage. Then, Defeating two teams, strong uh, team battle, I think Nigeria will have the opportunity to get this cup. Although we still have semi finals to play before yes. going to the final. But looking at it, I think luck, luck should be on our side because we defeated two strong teams mm. and we should get it then going back to Nigeria. Yeah, that's good. That's really appreciated. You know what I'm thinking about? You know, the Egypt, the Egypt were supporting Nigeria yesterday. Yeah, they, 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 no, it happens in football. Any team that knock out the other team, they're not going to support, they will support the opponent. <laughs> that's uh, even in club, uh, Champions League or Premier League. <laughs> Uh, towards anything, any team that defeat the other one is going to support the other one. So Egypt actually were supporting Nigeria yesterday, yeah. and I'm sure Kamel will also be supporting <laughs> Bafana, Bafana, South Africa. So that's how it goes because it, you knock me out, I'm going to support your opponent. Yes, <laughs> all right, that's all we have for you today on Good Morning Lagos. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on our social media pages at Evilet TV Lagos. Drop your comments on any of our platforms and do ensure you have a wonderful day ahead. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.